so I'm a backpacking guide in Alaska. Um, I'm actually taking this gear out in the field and I'm using it. Um, I've got quite a bit of experience with it, so I thought I'd give you guys my review of this stuff. So, uh, yeah, here it is. So the first piece of gear I'm going to review with you is the Osprey Atmos 65 AG. Not sure what the AG stands for, but um, this is their anti-gravity style pack, as you can see. Um, I've probably walked 70 to 80 miles on it so far. Um, it's holding up pretty well. It's a pretty decent pack. It's actually really nice because the way it fits and hugs your body, it just feels really nice. And it weighs about 4 pounds, which is quite a bit lighter than my other pack. And it's almost, you can't notice it when you're wearing it at first. Um, but you can definitely notice it when you get wearing it though. So uh, it's actually got a lot of pockets for an Osprey. Has two pretty large ones up front. If I can do this one-handed, it's got a pretty large one up front here. It goes pretty deep in, and that's on both sides. One there, one there. It's got a pretty large front pocket, which I stuff my stuff into, and also it's got these pockets on your hip waist supports so that's cool um it holds up pretty decent um the actual waistband um you can adjust it with the straps or you can actually adjust it even more with the pull out things here i'm not really sure what they're called so some things I've noticed, maybe some quick little hints are, you can either put your water bottles in a pop here, or you can stick them in this way, so you can get them while you're backpacking. It's kind of difficult to put the bottle back in on top when you're backpacking with the, back on, the backpack on. So your best bet is to put it in the sides here and walk with it. But it doesn't really feel too secure for me. Um, and it's still pretty hard to get it in and sometimes out. So something I have noticed as well is this thing, the chest support, it has a habit of coming off of the bag. And that's kind of annoying. So something to watch out for. It actually just clips back on there. This little black piece right here. Haven't had a chance to do it yet though. Uh, I mean, other than that, the only real complaint I actually have about the bag is after walking on a 35-mile hike this past week, I got a pretty big bruise on my lower backbone from, must be something in here, but I don't know what it was, but it, it hurts, and it's just something from this backpack, so that's something to watch out for. I well, hope this video helps got pockets up here. It's got a small pocket up top. It's got another bigger pocket. Typical normal backpack stuff. In there. And it opens right up. It's got the fly pockets. And then you can open up into the backpack. And there's kind of like this weather rain guard thing. That opens up. And then uh, pretty much just open it up and that's it. So that's the review in a nutshell. Um, if you have any questions on the review or want to know more information on the gear, let me know and I can answer it. Um, I'm using it still, even the stuff I don't like. So um, let me know if any questions and please subscribe to me. I'm doing a video blog of my Laskin days. So... It's pretty cool. Check it out. Uh, thanks for watching.